ChatGPT 5 is out. Everyone is saying that it's a game changer, it's impressive, it's awesome, it's the best things we ever had. Today we are going to see if it's the truth by comparing it with Claude, with three awesome tasks. Hello everyone, I'm Professor Rino and I'm today with Caroline. Hi everyone, I'm Caroline. So, shall we go and have a look at which model is the best? Sure. Let's the competition begin. <laughs> All right, the first task is gonna be solving uh, this complicated task. I'm asking for a simulator of the Rubik's Cube. It's gonna generate both of the model a user interface so we can have uh, something usable. Then I'm asking also to put all the code in a single HTML page. So that means we can just copy and paste and put it in our own website and share with friends. And I'm asking also to put all the code in the canvas because generally ChatGPT doesn't do it by default, Claude does it. So we are gonna compare here today, let's check with the latest Opus model, Claude, and here ChatGPT 5 is gonna have the thinking model. So let's see which one is faster to get this task done and let's then assess the quality of the results. Yeah. So. Let's the challenge begin. So you can see that Claude is already there writing the code. It's not a thinking model. Instead, the ChatGPT 5, it's doing a lot of thinking. Mm -hmm. And if you want to stop the thinking, get a bad rough results, just click here. But in this case, we are going to let it and see which one give us the best results. You're gonna help me to rate them. Really? Yes. <laughs> um, I found it really cool to see Claude writing the code in front of you because you feel like it's working hard versus Church BD5. I know it's working hard too, but you don't know what's going on in the background. Yeah, let's hope that is going to generate something. I don't know what's going on. That's something that I would have loved to, to see, to see what are the progress that it's making, but we are kind of keep outside the loop. Instead, with Claude, we can see what's going on and guesstimate which part of the code. I think, like, for instance, now it's developing the JavaScript. And good. let's wait and see. So we can see that Claude has completed his own task, but ah. I don't know what is going on here. <laughs> it doesn't really look like a cube to me. Let's scramble it. Yeah, I can see that the user interface is working. The auto solve is there, but I think it did some messed up things on the user interface. Ah, by the way, ChatGPT 5 has completed the task. Let's go and have a look at it. And the results is a bit embarrassing. I don't, I don't know what we are, we are looking at here. Yeah. Also here, the visualization is not 3D. And probably can uh, try with both of them and telling them that we want 3D visualization. Let's use the same prompt. Let's be more human. The 3D visualization is a mess. Please fix the code gonna use the same prompt here for church GPT. So you can see once again, Claude is already crunching results instead here, church GPT 5 is trying to figure it out what I'm asking for. The result was not great for both of them, but Claude was slightly faster. And I think we started 
you earlier, but however, it was just one second earlier. I finished way faster than ChatGPT 5. And at least it tried to do something 3D. Yeah. It was a bit of a mess, but yeah, we need to acknowledge that it was 3D ish. So let's see after this second prompt which one is gonna win. So, yeah, OpenAI, if you're listening, please, next time that you put the thinking capability, let us see steps. <laughs> We get really bored in see optimizing, optimizing, implementing. I want to see what's going on behind the scene. What list? Generate a list of all the items that you've been working on. There will be something good also for Claude to see. Okay, I am writing this part. Okay. Looks like It seems the ChatGPT is working on it. Just started. And yeah, I have the feeling that it's much faster in writing after the thinking is done, but we'll see which one is going to give us the best results. I know that these are really complicated tasks to do, but it's a good way to benchmark different model. Yeah. And it seems that ChatGPT is still writing here. Yes, he hasn't completed it. I'm really curious. That's another thing that ChatGPT could uh, improve is that you can you can do what Claude is doing, always show us what's happening on the latest <laughs> instead of asking user to scroll down. Yeah. I don't know why. Sometimes it's doing it by himself instead today. He doesn't do it. We can see that they are still competing, competing. And there we are. We're getting wow. Claude <laughs> almost there. You can tell that today is 3D capability are not really there, but we are getting somewhere. And yeah, the user interface is working. How to solve? It's actually working. Let's see if it's capable to scramble it. No mm. sign is not working. You know, there is something in the rendering, in the 3D rendering, but it's kind of getting there somewhere. Let's see what ChatGPT 5 is creating. That looks like Claude. Still in perfect, but faster. Yeah. <laughs> it seems that ChatGPT Let's finish the task. Let's go and have a Okay, it doesn't really want to give us a 3D scramble it. Okay. Apparently this is a yeah, it is a cubic a Rubik cube open up. <laughs> Never uh, the thoughts. Yeah, you, you couldn't uh, use it to play. It's, it's not it's not 3D, you know. It's it's not usable. So we can see that Claude has been faster in terms of results. Slightly that... better. All right, so Claude is winning for this first task. Should but, we move to... But, but I wouldn't give it a 10 out of 10. Yeah, it's not <laughs> perfect, none of them. But we can say that Claude is winning now. So let's go and see the second task. So this is the second task. In this case, I'm asking uh, both of the model to have a couple of scenario Pac-Man. What is Pac-Man? It's a game like ah, 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 ah. Oh, the yellow guy eating, eating stuff and going to the next level and running away from ghosts. Mm -hmm. So also in this case, I'm asking uh, the possibility to interact with a user interface, everything in a single web page, and I'm gonna start the process with the, both of them and let's see which one is the fastest and which one is giving us results that are pretty good. Have you ever played with Pac-Man when you were kids? Where it was all over the place. There is also a version with the, the female version of Pac-Man. I don't know what's her name. We need to Google it. pac If Fair enough. I never <laughs> thought the Pac-Man... I don't know. We will need to, to check and probably we need to buy one of these big machines 
and put it in the in the background it will be really awesome for the youtube channel should do okay you can see that pacman for bodies already there. i would say cloud is that's also faster this time yeah, we are waiting for ChatGPT 5 let's see if the user interface do you need to click publish no no we can just use it here and yes uh, okay. it's working it's working let's see if i lose oh it make me restart yeah, yes. let's just go online let's see if we can have the classy maze the club Sick maze is not working. Okay, this other one, scenario two, is working. Let's see what happens. So it doesn't. Ah, yes, game over. So it's something two out of three are working. And while we were playing, the news is ChatGPT 5 has completed its own task. Let's go and have a look. The user interface is a bit complicated. You can see the Pac-Man is there, but doesn't look like a Pac-Man. And we have this beautiful scenario in which we can actually complete. <laughs> I cannot go in. <laughs> All right. Um, let's try another scenario. Lord scenario. Load the new scenario and Pac-Man doesn't look like I don't know for ChatGPT Pac-Man is a ghost. <laughs> Let's see if yes, he has been losing. Let's try to see if we can get yes. I'm gonna go again. You can see that the artificial intelligence for the ghost for both cases is not ideal. What do we think? Which one? So once again, Claude was the first one. Finished. Um, I think Claude slightly better. Claude still slightly better. Okay, let's hope that for the final one, ChatGPT <laughs> will win and say by far. <laughs> so let's go to the final one. It's oh. the final countdown. <laughs> so this is the final challenge. It's gonna be a bit of uh, science because I study evacuation, so I'm gonna ask to have an evacuator. Okay. An evacuator, sorry, an evacuation simulator using a social force model that is really no model. Both models should know what it is about. I'm asking for a three by four meter room with a single room, and I want to have a user interface where I can change the number of agents and the size of the room. So let's see if ChatGPT5 can recover. This stage we have two nail, and I'm hoping that ChatGPT5 is gonna win this last challenge. So I'm gonna start for both of them, and let's go and have a look. So Claude, as always, has already started crunching all the code. ChatGPT5 is still thinking. Same comment as BA4. Let's wait and see. I'm pretty interested in see if they are gonna be capable to run in the first shot or if they are gonna be getting people stuck and not capable to. Yes, they are developing JavaScript because it's everything run in a HTML page. Oh, there yeah. we are. There's something already up and running for ChatGPT for Cloud, while ChatGPT 5 is still going. So let's keep the number as they are and start the simulation. Yes. Oh. Someone went inside again. Not perfect, but 
<laughs> Looks like a shaking cocktail of humans. <laughs> Slowly. The humans out. look really confused. Yeah, they look really confused and blind. <laughs> I don't think in real life that's what people do. Definitely it's not a good simulator I wouldn't use for my studies or for any kind of calculation. But you can say that. Ah, nice, there was also a bit of interface instead this guy got stuck on the door. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see if there is a button. It's doing something. Yeah, probably. Oh, you can change the number of agents. Let's try to see if this feature. Yes. Sure. It's been put here. <laughs> Try to change. Yeah. At least all the bottom are working. But <laughs> I don't like the the results. They bounce bounce against each other. <laughs> Let's go and see what ChatGPT Fire has developed for us. Also in this case we have a User interface with all the requirements. He has put 35 people. So let's go and see. Start. Well, at least it's more <laughs> like human. <laughs> They're not bouncing against each other. We got these two guys stuck. And I think we can spend the rest of our <laughs> life looking at them. I will pause and try to put fewer people. I reset and start again. And once again, we have two people. They, we have the bodyguards, they stay. So a question, uh, you asked to generate an evacuation simulator using the social force. What is social force? So the social force model is a model that was developed 20 years ago by Professor Helbing. It's now in ETH. There is a lot of controversy about that paper because in the title he was mentioning panic evacuation. We know that we shouldn't use that word. We can spend full talk about why people don't panic during disaster. Uh, the area looks pretty panicky <laughs> in cloud to me. Yeah, probably the underlying <laughs> assumption is like for this model they were like <laughs> the bouncing they against were, each other. <laughs> yeah, probably they were dancing rather than evacuating. <laughs> so once again, Cloud was the first in generating our results, but I must say that GPT-5 at least looked like an evacuation. We still have the bodyguards left here. Yeah, but yeah. I would say that this final one is for ChatGPT-5. So well done, ChatGPT-5. Cool. So, in conclusion, we can say that uh, ChatGPT 5 is getting really good at developing code, user interface, and something useful for your private life, for your uh, entertainment, or for your work. But you can see that it's nothing uh, pretty different from Claude, and probably Grok would have been performing similar to them. So, in conclusion, we can say it's a game changer? Probably not. Is it better than ChatGPT 4? Definitely yes. It's OpenAI a bit disappointing me. A bit. What about you? Well, I think it's just today demonstrated to me Claude is slightly better than ChatGPT 5. And of course, the limitation of our methodology, like in every scientific paper, you need to acknowledge your limitation. We have been just testing it with JavaScript and HTML files. We didn't do any other test using uh, any other task like customized prompt. We have videos about that. We haven't done any agency style comparison. So that's something that we will need to do in the future. We are looking forward to hear your experience with this tool. And as always, don't forget to promote and support this channel by pressing subscribe. And like and like and, and turn the bell. Uh, turn the bell on. Please. Turn everything on. <laughs> <laughs> See you in the next Thanks episode. Thanks for watching. See you. Ciao. Bye.